guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a huge Target try on haul. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. It has been a minute since I've done a Target try on haul and they have so many cute things for fall. I had a field day when I was in there earlier today. So I cannot wait to show you guys the things that I picked up. And just for reference, I am normally a medium on top, a six on the bottom. So if I say it fit true to size, size up, size down, you guys will know what size I actually had or what size I got. So that's that. Everything will be linked in the bottom bar, including anything that I wear with those outfits. All of that stuff will be linked down below. I also did just want to say that I've been doing quite a few try on hauls recently. I have Old Navy, I have American Eagle, a huge Amazon try on haul. So I will link those up here every few seconds for you guys. And then also down below in the bottom bar, I'll leave a little list of my recent try on hauls because there are so many cute clothes out for fall right now, and now is kind of the time to stock up on your fall and winter wardrobe. Okay, normally we would go right into the mirror, but I do have a couple of accessories that I want to show you guys kind of close up, and then I will wear them in the different outfits so you can see them in action, but I do just want to show you kind of the details of them. So the first item is this ring. It's a multicolored stone ring, and it's so pretty. So this is what it looks like and I absolutely love this. I think it is so cute. The rainbow trend is huge right now and I just think that this ring will go with anything because it has all of the colors in it. I just think that it's absolutely beautiful and it is part of that Sugar Fix collection and so it's inspired by Bobble Bar which I actually have the pink baguette ring from Bobble Bar and I have no idea where I placed it which is very weird. I rarely ever misplace things and I can't seem to find it. But that one I think I paid $44 for and this one I want to say was $9.99. So definitely a steal. Another item I want to share with you guys are these barrettes. They're the pearl barrettes. This came in a pack of two and they're the kind that you just um, unclip and then clip in. They're super easy to use and it came in a pack of two. I want to say these were $9.99 as well. Maybe they were $12. I'm not sure but um, they're definitely like the big oversized ones. I love the way that these look. I think they had such a cute pop and especially once fall comes and like winter time, you're not wearing sunglasses as much, I guess, depending on where you live. But here in Michigan, it gets so gray and dreary in the winter time. And so I like to pop up my like hair and scarf accessory game because you're not wearing sunglasses and you're wearing a winter coat, which just makes everything more boring. So I feel like your head, like cute hats, scarves, earrings, hair accessories, stuff like that is perfect for winter time if you live somewhere cold. All right, then I have two pairs of earrings. The first pair are these heart hoops. I actually didn't get these today. I got these a few weeks ago, but I haven't shown them to you guys, I don't think. And I love these. I think that they're so adorable. They're just little heart hoops and I'll just take my earrings out so that you guys can see what they look like. So I think that that is just absolutely adorable and they hang kind of like to the side. So you can, they're not completely sideways, but you can see them um, if they're, they're not completely front facing, but they're not completely like a lot of hoops go just straight forward so you can't see anything. You can see that they are hearts and I just think that they're such a cute little different type of hoop while still being a hoop and not being like a big statement earring. Oh, and then the other pair is this pair of little bow earrings. I think these are so cute and these were $9.99. They also came, I believe, in gold. So these ones are studs. They're not dangly earrings. But I just think those are so cute. So girly. I feel like the most like girly girl right now would bow earrings, pearl, uh, barrette, pink. I'm wearing a pink sweater. Okay, and then the last accessory I want to share is this handbag. And the reason I wanted to share this up close and personal is because this is the most beautiful shade of green. And I feel like that won't come across. Every time I've looked at it in the mirror, with an outfit on it almost pulls black just because you can't see unless you're in lighting or in person that it's actually green this feels like actual leather okay maybe that's not true 
but it feels like really high quality. It's that like super soft material. It doesn't feel like plastic or super cheap and it does have kind of that cobbled look. So it does come with this gold chain and then the green faux leather. And this is long enough for me to wear as a crossbody. I'm 5'7". I can't remember if I said that at the beginning of the video, but I always try to preface that I'm 5'7", so you guys can see as far as length goes. Um, and then the straps are detachable if you want to detach them and use this as a clutch or something like that. And this has a little uh, magnetic closure. And then on the inside, it just has one big open area and then this this one little flat pocket and then everything else is just open so i think this is so pretty this color is just stunning and you're gonna be able to fit so much stuff in here like this is a big bag it doesn't look that big but it really is i mean compared to some of my other bags this is my i have an iphone 8 plus and there's a lot of room in here for that so i think you would actually be able to put a scarf or something rolled up in here if you wanted to. Not like a blanket scarf, but a regular scarf. Okay, those are kind of my accessories. Let's get into the clothing that I picked up. First up, I have this sweater, which I love. I paired it with my sneaker wedges. I got these this season. I have a pair from last season that I wore on major repeat, and I loved them so much that I decided to get a different pair this season. And then I'm wearing my dark skinnies that I love so much. And this sweater is so freaking adorable. I love the mauve and white. It's almost like a popcorn texture. And even looking at it, it was heavier than I was expecting it to be, which I personally am okay with because that means that once winter comes, it's actually going to be warm as well, but you can wear it right now with no jacket or anything like that. Um, I like the v-neck. It's not too deep. You could totally wear this off the shoulder. I actually tried one size up and I was swimming in it, so I would say it's definitely true to size. Ignore the bra strap, but this could definitely be worn off the shoulder, no problem. I think it is so cute this way, and the sleeves are nice and long. I'm wearing it with my pearl barrette, and... I just think this is the cutest little sweater. I'm going to get so much use out of this and it's super duper soft. Same jeans, same sneaker wedges, but I did want to show you this bag. So this is the length that hits me at crossbody. And then if you want to wear it on your shoulder, this is where it hits. I think it's so, so, so cute. And I just love the metal details of it. I think that it's so chic, but it's simple enough to just pull off on an everyday basis. So that is the bag. And then this sweater, I'm just rolling with the pink. This is the softest thing ever. I felt it and was like, I have to try that on immediately. It came in a bunch of different stripes, which I did buy one striped thing, but I'm trying so hard not to buy everything in stripes because I gravitate towards them so much. So um, it comes in stripes and a bunch of other colors. The sleeves are nice and long. I have my true medium. I did try on a large just to see and it was quite a bit bigger. It was a very oversized look, and I think just because of the cut of the sweater, it didn't really make sense to go oversized. So I did front tuck it, but you don't have to. It is straight across, and same in the back. There's no high-low or anything. It's just like a very like regular cut sweater. So sweaters like this, I definitely will be front tucking just because I think that that's a cuter way to wear it. Um, and then I just paired it with my crescent necklace and yeah very simple and easy fall outfit i didn't try this piece on at the store and now that i have it at home i'm totally wishing i had one size up so i did pull it off the shoulder but it is so tight against my neck right here that it doesn't really work off the shoulder that well but i don't like it on the shoulder i just feel like the style of it for me is more of an off the shoulder style the sleeves are way too short and this feels just like a little bit too tight so 
it did come in a bunch of colors and it looked so cute on the hanger but i will say i will be returning this i might try and size up in it but the color is beautiful this like really pretty burgundy color um but i would definitely size up in this all right i swapped out my sneaker wedges for this pair of taupe booties a good pair of taupe booties is a must-have in my collection so this top i love the square neckline i think it's so flattering I'm a little undecided about this top because, about keeping it, I should say. I think that it is adorable, but I'm a little undecided about keeping it because it's actually really similar to a top I have from a couple of years ago. So I don't know that I need it in my collection, but I also kind of just feel like I need it in my collection. So I could have steamed it for you guys. Sorry about that. So the sleeves are a decent length. They do have a button on the cuff, so you can open it up if you want to, but it has that balloon sleeve detailing and then obviously the square neck and I have it front tucked but of course you could um, wear it out if you wanted to and then the back of it is a knit material so it's like the same color but a softer knit material so it's kind of like a two textured top but I think this is so cute for date night you can see the tag still this undecided tag life. Um, but yeah, this is such a cute date night look. This would be adorable with a little leather jacket over it. I think the possibilities are endless for this one and there's so many different things you can wear it for. So if you don't have anything like this in your collection, I would definitely grab this. It does fit true to size. I swapped out my booties for these platform sneakers. I love these, they're the cutest shade of mauve. And I saw them on Amazon for a very, very affordable price. So if they're still on there, I will link them. But this hoodie is so soft. So it has tan and white stripes, which I think are the cutest combo ever. I love this so much. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. It's pretty lightweight. I wouldn't say that it's like a go outside when it's chilly out kind. Well, when it's chilly, but not when it's cold. Um, and I like how like nice and loose it is. The hood is very thin, so it doesn't add bulk at all. It just kind of lays flat against the sweater. And uh, let's see, what else? There's no pockets and there's no um, drawstring or anything on the hood. It's just a plain old casual hoodie sweater. I love this. I know that I'll get so much use out of it. This is such a fun like throw on and run errands or I would even see myself running to the gym with this over my workout clothes, I will definitely be wearing this. And it comes in a bunch of other options too, other colors. It does not get much more fall than this. So I swapped out my sneaker wedges for the pair that I had from last year. These ones are a tan pair. I don't know if they're still in stock, but if I can find them, I will definitely link them. And then I'm still wearing that green bag. I'm wearing this hat from Amazon, which I will link. And then this rust colored long sleeve tee. It is a ribbed tee. And it's just such a good basic. So it's a really nice, soft material. I think this rust color is gorgeous for fall. I'm so glad that it's popular. It's usually popular in the fall. Um, I did size up in this. I size up in almost all tops that I think are going to be a bit more form-fitting form because I don't really like form-fitting clothing. This is a good layering piece for me, uh, but I wouldn't normally wear something that would be like tight against my body so that's that I did do a little front tuck you don't have to it's not super super long but it's long enough for layering this is going to be perfect under vests jackets scarves the whole nine yards so this is just like a fall must have I am officially sweating to death all right I changed out my shoes for these floral sneakers I have had these for a few years now and I get a ton of use out of them in the fall. I just think they're such a fun, like different fall shoe. So that's that. But this sweater, first of all, it took everything in my power not to buy the pink version of it because it did come in pink, but um, it has this cute tie. You can tighten it if you want to, or you can wear it loose and out. I just have it loose right now. The sleeves are nice and long and then the top, almost has like a mock neck feel but 
not quite that high so it's like a pretty short mock neck but I just think this is such a cute like take on a very casual sweater sweatshirt just kind of making it a little bit I don't know more fun it's like a cute athleisure piece so this again I can see wearing with like leggings and sneakers to the gym I wouldn't wear this with leggings without going to the gym or something like that like just out because it doesn't cover anything at all but I think this is just such a cute like throw on and go kind of a piece and it's super duper soft. This also does run true to size. If I don't say how it runs, cause I think I skipped a couple of them, then it does run true to size. If not, I will let you guys know. I saved the best for last. This is my absolute worst hair situation. I have no idea what's happening with it, but I'm so sweaty I had to get it out of my face. But this sweatshirt is unbelievably soft. I wonder if you'll be able to tell by the texture. It's like the smoothest, nicest texture. It's this gorgeous rust color that's very in this season. Absolutely love the color. The cut is really nice. Size up in this. Um, I put on the medium and I was like, no, way too small. It was too short. It was just not cute. But I love it. It's the same length all the way around, front and back. And I just think this is so... This is like the perfect casual lounge around on a Sunday and watch TV and eat pizza kind of a top. This is also something that you can do a little front tuck with. It's going to be super cute like that. You can dress it up a bit, dress it down, wear it running errands. This is just like an everyday life kind of thing. Um, in my size up, the sleeves are long enough. They were not long enough in the medium though. So... And this does come in other colors. It comes in a really pretty white, which I just have way too many white tops, so... Could not do that, but this rust color is good. Alrighty guys, those are all of the pieces that I've recently picked up from Target. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below where you want me to do a try on haul from next. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.